To begin, open the Roofing Tutorial Drawing. There are many ways to create roofs. First, when creating the basic plan in Quick Start, a hip roof is automatically created. Notice here in the back, a little shed's been drawn manually, so a roof's not been generated yet. To adjust the automatically created roof, just click the perimeter, change the properties, and click Generate Roof to affect the changes. If the Automatically Generates Panels checkbox is checked, simply clicking OK will affect those changes. Otherwise, just simply click Generate Roof. Now we'll move to the back. Now let's talk about roofs in our little shed. A series of roofing tools are available on the Roof tab. We'll zoom in and click the Roof tab. Click the Hip Roof tool. Click and drag a rectangle around the shape of the building. You can change the pitch on the right. Notice that when I select the roof, the entire roof is selected. The only editing that you can do is the size and overall shape. We'll select it and delete it. Now if I click the perimeter, I'll change the pitch to say 8 and click OK. Notice that you can also have it generate eaves if you wish. Click Generate Roof to automatically generate the roof. Now in this case, this roof is built with individual panels. So we can select a panel and delete it. We'll select these points and drag them out. In effect what we're doing is we're taking this automatically generated hip roof and we're creating a gable on one side. For a gable roof we need to change the wall style We'll change the height, and here the pitch should match the pitch of the roof. Now we'll select all of the walls, and we'll change the height to 8 foot 6 inches. So we automatically generated the roof, and then edited that roof and added a gable.